Hello Internet, I'm your only mate, and it's time for a new chapter of Ruby Volume 8. We've got Chapter 12, Creation. I think that's the first time I'm actually saying the title of the chapter in these videos, but whatever. Um, as I should say, with all reaction videos, please click the link in the description below to go watch the actual episode itself, uh, before watching mine or anyone's reactions. Don't be a dick, support the official release. Alright, so... Last episode, Ruby, uh, well, basically ended it with saying that she has a plan based on Penny going to the vault, and the thumbnail shows Penny with Ironwood. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, though I do have a slight prediction and kind of hope. I'm hoping the, that's not actually Penny the Ironwood is with, and that that's Ruby... With Emerald, like, masking her while the others... I want to say they're just going to look for the sword that the Aesops took. So that they can either break it or fix it somehow. And then, boom, virus gone. Fuck you, Ironwood. Um, uh, yeah, also, uh, there was that scene with uh, Crow and Robin where they see someone in the elevator and it cuts away and we don't see them again. Still banking on that being uh, Winter and Marrow, so... Yeah, hopefully you find out what, what's going on with that. And, uh... You, you know what, I'll save that until, until the end. But for now, I'm gonna put my headphones on, shut the fuck up, and hit play. And here's where I cut back. Oh, Jesus. All right, that's the gang. Jesus! Oh, I don't like it, I don't like it. Oh, this is such a trick. Be ready for anything. Okay, well, uh, the bomb's gonna get stopped. I like that. Have the nerve to come with her. We put them down immediately. The general gave its terms. No more games. Harry, I got a term for you. It's called shut the fuck up. Just retracing the steps that led us here. <sighs> Elm, I'm counting on you. Crow and Robin. They're in the academy hangar. Trying to stop the payload. Or just looking for a way out. Not going to happen. Okay, so that's what you guys are gonna do. Let's go, Aesops. But someone needs to stay here with the general. I'll stay. If we lose the payload, we lose our leverage. She's right. Um. Contain it. Now. Uh, okay, so I'm hoping Marrow's with uh, Crow and Robin then. Sir, this course of action. I hope you're not going to try to talk me out of it. No, sir. I mean, I'm sure she knows it. But... Okay, so that's. Absolutely not a trick like I was hoping I for. Think you'd actually come alone. I expected at least some resistance from your friends. I don't want anyone else to die. I must open the vault. Uh, what's the play here? You've done the right thing. Oh! <laughs> Fuck yes, Emerald! I love it! My hands hurt from slapping him so much <laughs> that hard. And Winter's helping! And Marrow's helping Crow and Robin! Oh, you love to see it! Jesus! Go, Oscar! Kick his ass! Uh oh. Oh, that is cool! Sorry, guys, but we don't want to fight. We didn't want to drop Atlas either. But we've all had to make some tough calls, huh? 
That was a freaking cool move by Winter. Go. Move to phase two. Guys, Wait, she was in on it? <laughs> she has to go to the vault. That's actually a risk we haven't considered. We've been so worried about keeping the vault closed that we never considered using what's inside. The staff of creation. Maybe we could use it to save Penny and get everyone in Atlas and Mantle back to safety. So I'm not talking right now. I'm just well, really invested in what's happening. I just heard from. <gasps> so you're not arresting me? No. Ironwood's got to be stopped. Hell yes. Why did you hit me? Because you were about to get killed if I didn't do something. Also, you know, look convincing. I wasn't the only one thinking that, right? <laughs> I love it when they add that. Getting in touch with my sister. We're going to need help. Shanistas. Speaking of help. So we've got people trapped in Atlas and Mantle that we can't evacuate unless we use the staff, which is located inside the vault. If we open the vault, Penny terminates. If Ironwood gets hmm. away with any of this, he blows up Mantle. There's something else to consider. Once the staff creates anything else, the city drops. Yeah, that's a big worry. Gravity dust to keep it from plummeting immediately, but well. Nobody's going to want to be around when it touches down. I bet. Okay, then let's use the staff to teleport everyone to safety. Maybe even to another kingdom. We can't just wave it. Like Is that how they get to vacuo? Problems go away, and we haven't even told you about him. Who? The spirit and the staff. Oh, okay, so we're getting that. But well, I think I spoke over the name. He can build you anything, but. Only if you can explain to him how. Like any craftsman, he'll need blueprints. Some sort of reference. It'll help if we have real-world examples to show him. I've already gone oh. to the city layouts for the SDC evacuation. Maybe I can help. Look at Whitley! James, Helping. To consider. Oh, I've got a plan for that. So, that takes care of phase one. Meanwhile, the real Penny goes to the vault. With help. I blasted a hole so through that's the where they are. And I highly doubt oh, they're using that. that! That's cool! That should take you straight to it. All of that is the easy part. As soon as Penny opens the door, we go through, grab the staff, and stop her termination. Just hang in there, Penny. Okay? Uh... Sorry, I'm not talking a whole lot. I'm just really invested in uh, things that are happening. Although, since people aren't talking, I feel like I can say stuff now. Oh, that's that's a cool pocket dimension. I like how it just immediately cuts to uh, uh, Jacques in prison. Hello. To engage my creative wilds. All I'll say is it better be worth it after my last project. A floating city? <laughs> How pedestrian. Hi, a pedestrian. Hey, Ambrosius, uh, sir, listen, it's about our friend. She's she's dying. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you know it's against the rules for me to bring people back from the dead. So Is that a Markiplier? She's not your typical girl. Speak more, speak more, speak more, speak more. So she isn't. That's fucking Mark! Whoever did this. Uh, uh, huh. Like, uh, uh, that has to be him, right? It sounds so much like him. You think you have some clever plan to save her. If it's not, I apologize, I but... Exactly yeah, it's absolutely him! <laughs> I don't want any complaining when it's not what you wanted. We brought her schematics. We want you to make a new version of her using her exact same robot parts. That was huh. curiously worded, girl. <laughs> An exact copy of her would include the virus. 
An exact copy of her without the virus would cease to exist the second you make something else. And we kind of want to keep huh. her around longer than that. You know what? Clever. You've done your homework. We want you to create a new version of her using her existing robotic parts, taking the virus with them. Hmm. Okay, but if I take the robot parts out of her, that would leave... <sighs> Penny, the girl who's always been there underneath it. Hmm. You can't oh, that's what they're getting at! ...against the rules, but you wouldn't be destroying her. Her soul is who she is. The mechanical parts are just... Extra. But huh. a soul without a complete body, what would be left? I don't know. I guess you just have to get creative. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose I could do a little oh, add a touch up. But if I, did that, <laughs> I like how he's moving. Be my work and how much would be her just coming up to the surface. This is all very exciting. And very dangerous. Uh, I don't know what the result. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> we don't have any other options. We believe in her. Then ready yourselves to witness my artistry. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Also, I'm just now realizing the whole like, Pinocchio shit. Literally being made into a real girl. It's done. Uh oh, I don't like the sound of that. I guess that's the signal then. Looks like things are moving forward in the vault. Hopefully Penny is going to be okay. If Atlas is moving, we need to get word out before people panic. Meaning hurry. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, this should be, um... <laughs> I like how it says live. Something? You're live. <laughs> Everyone can see you. <gasps> Awkward. <laughs> uh, um, citizens of Atlas. Mantle. What we have to tell you is very important. Atlas is falling. But... Oh, for fuck's sake! Wait. Let me guess, Ironwood. Dead. The entire CCT. It just went down. And so did Kingdom Communication. Oh. How? The bigger question is, what do we do now? Oh wait, is that because Amazy finally hit the ground? This is falling. Is that true? Yes. We're using the staff to get everyone to safety. See who can have. I've only just now realized we're finally seeing these two in a scene together. Are you? Are you going to leave me here? No. I was about to say. Finished, we'll move both like, of you to safety. Oh, Winter. Thank you. Oh, I... Don't thank me. It was Weiss's decision. Mm. Penny? Oh, she's a real girl! Oh, that's creepy. All kinds of unsettling. <gasps> okay, <laughs> it's finally over. Are you okay? That's gonna be like real trippy for her. But yeah. <laughs> ah, free to create and you know, it's you guys. <laughs> We're not done with you. Yet. I like how he's so. Uh, oh, you again. <laughs> let's try a quick version. Can you 
make a bunch of doorways in Atlas that open at a single spot in Vacuo? Sure. Oh, so this is how we're getting to Vacuo. Okay. Two specs for each door, an explanation for bending space and time to account for the much greater traffic on one side and a single point of exit on the other. Okay, that's about what we expected. Hmm. So, we need to funnel everybody through a central location first. You're going to have to tell me more about this central location for starters. Uh, where is it? Man, I would not be able to do this. <laughs> Place like these vaults. Wherever they are, they're not part of Remnant. Only accessible if you know the right way in. Seems like a safe enough place for thousands of refugees. <laughs> you kids are either smarter or much more foolish than you realize. That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> I'm going to need a reference. Oh, we've got one. Man, they really came prepared. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, that is cool! I hear the Cordovan! Like, on the poster in the background. It's a little cameo! People enter from Atlas and Mantle on one side. <laughs> that, that's trippy. Well, everything appears to be in order. You were quite thorough. Disappointingly <laughs> so. So, it's done. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, and one last point of clarification about this central location of yours. Do not fall. Okay, and with that... I'm a little worried as, uh... Yeah, just, just do what he says. Just don't... Don't fall. Stay okay. We did it. What? Now? We go to Vacuo. Get the fuck out of there! <laughs> Oh, oh! I thought that was Tyrion for a second for some reason. <laughs> the hood, the hood threw me off. <laughs> okay, so I just looked it up, and uh, I have a massive apology to make. I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I thought that was uh, Markiplier. It was not. It was uh, Valentine Stokes. I believe I'm pronouncing that. Right. Hang on, let me just. Uh... Make absolutely sure. Mute the music so it doesn't come up on my headphones. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, really sorry about that. It just sounded a lot like the guy. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing. So, uh... Um, anyway, so what did I think about this episode? Uh, okay, while it wasn't Ruby acting as Penny, I, I, I still kind of cool that Emerald was gonna one-up Ironwood. I'll, I'll count that as like a half scene in the future thing. Uh, yeah, that's me trying to... Anyway, um, yeah. Oh, so happy to see Winsor and Marrow finally done. Like, Jesus. Uh. Man. Uh. God, why is it getting so hard for me to actually speak? Um. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I've been at work all day. Yeah, that, uh, creation spirit, um, Ambrosius, Ambrosius, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I, I, I spoke over the name a couple times, kind of annoyed at myself for that, so, uh, yeah, uh, 
I'll, I'll be sure to re-listen and get it right uh, next time around. But, uh, yeah, I really like what they did with him. Uh, making Penny a, a real girl. Literally. Uh, I did not think about doing that and having that be a way to just like, get rid of the virus completely. Well, not get rid of it because it was still in the robot body. Which, man, was so unsettling to actually like, see just like glitch out all over the place. Ooh. Uh. Man, seeing her like, just want to hug everybody. Like, and talk about just how it feels. Like, man, that was really nice. I love seeing that. Uh. I have a question, though, and this is something I've asked uh, Max Probuscus and Aiden about. Um. What the hell is going on with Pietro and Maria? Because last time we saw them, Avacy Arena was falling. Like, it was still descending after Penny fell. So where are they right now? Like, are they just still on it? And, like, it's hit the ground and that's why communications aren't... ...active, or maybe Ironwood has something... Oh, not, not Ironwood, Watts has something to do with that. Uh, so we kind of didn't see him in this episode. Didn't see Neo either, which is concerning, and also concerning that Cinder is among the refugees, so, uh, oh boy. Uh, but, hey, uh, they're getting everybody to vacuo. So, that's a thing, and... That has me just wondering, are we actually going like, to see Vacuo at the end? Which could also mean uh, we see Teams Coffee, Sun, and all sorts of other people that we saw in Volume 3. Well, at least last saw in Volume 3. Uh... Oh, along with Headmaster Theodore. And Professor Rumpel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go read the books by E.C. Myers. Or listen to the audiobooks, whichever. Um, but yeah, I... Uh, I don't really know what else to say. And keep in mind, this is just my first time watching uh, this episode. So I might have missed some stuff, or I'm just blanking on some things, because the stuff I, like, what, what happened, just like, so, yeah, if you want to hear me talk about it in more detail, uh, stick around, and look out for a Max and Mate discussion, where I'll be talking about this with Max a few trades, or click the link in the description to go to Brobusk's channel and check out Brobuskcast, the Ruby edition with me, him, and Aiden, where we'll talk about this. And, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching, all of that stuff, and here's my Yang outro. I finally remembered which one it was this time. Bye. Thanks for watching You're Only Made on YouTube. You rock! Thanks for watching!